Hi guys, welcome back to On The Go with EF. So I'm super excited because I'm here to meet the three-time Olympic medalist, two-time Olympic champion, Didi Trotter. I'm very, very excited to meet her. Let's go. Thank you. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Over here. Good. Good. Awesome. So, have a seat. Thank so. you. Um, at 2016, mm -hmm. uh, after the Olympic trials, I retired from the sport after 13 long years. Oh, wow. um, yes, I've been running in circles, literally, for a very <laughs> long time. EF came to me. They were looking for an Olympics ambassador. Mm -hmm. uh, EF has a very long-going sponsorship relationship with the Olympics. So we're also going to be doing the Korea Olympics coming mm -hmm. up and uh, for the Winter Games and Tokyo 2020. Oh my God, so we teach amazing. everyone the language of English so that when the world comes, everybody's united. everyone's ready. When you have the sports, even if you don't speak a language, the sport becomes the universal mm -hmm. language. I mean, I've run with girls from all over the world who have different, who may not speak English or speak my language, but we can communicate. And you still <laughs> yes. create a relationship. We know exactly what we're saying. Okay, so tell me, how many medals do you have? Well, I have lots of medals, but Olympic medals, I have three. I have two from 2012, and I have one from 2004. It was mm -hmm. my very first Olympics, and also I won a gold medal that time, so yay! Whoa. <laughs> They're really heavy. Yeah, and here's my very first gold medal I won in 2004 at the Athens Olympics, where the Olympics very first began. Mm -hmm. And... That must have been quite a historic moment. It was. But what would be one favorite thing from you from all of those memories? Let's see, that's challenging. I think the first thing my mind goes back to is the last 100 meters of the women's 400. In 2012, I got my first individual bronze medal. Mm -hmm. And um, it was super race running so hard, the last 100 meters, I take off down the home stretch, I get into the lead, the gold medal position, we fight for it all the way to the finish line, and we lean at the line, and Sonia Richards-Ross gets first place from the US, Christina Rogu from Great Britain gets second, and I get third, and it was all by a hair. It was just an amazing race. Oh my God. So spectacular. And it was more so the journey that made that race more exceptional to me. Um, I literally, had many people telling me over the course of four years that I should retire. I had a knee injury, it caused to have me a surgery, and that surgery devastated my career for three years. It wasn't until the fourth year in 2012 that I was able to, able to make that comeback. And when I did, people didn't believe it. They're like, man, for three years she lost every single race that she, won she stepped on the track to run. And she should have retired many years ago. And then you take over. the medals to prove all of them wrong. There you go. Two medals. When yeah. nobody thought I would be there. Can you please, I'm very, very excited to meet you. And I would love to hear more about Olympic Games. And to me, it's just, you know, it's a completely different experience. It's a really world experience. Like when you get to the Olympic Games, you start to see and have an experience with people that maybe you never thought you would meet. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so many people from different cultures and different walks of life and different languages all come together in this one area. Um, for the most part, we all communicate mostly during dining time. So mm -hmm. we get ready to eat and then everyone comes to the dining hall from everywhere. I mean, I've had dinner and lunch with Brazil and, and Puerto Rico and I've had um, all in the same place, but I'm in different places. It's mm -hmm. so amazing. I have lunch with Jamaica and, and dinner again with Peru. It's just such an amazing experience. Um, and when I'm in the Olympic Games, uh, the stadium is mm -hmm. one thing I think of. It's so many people, they're screaming and yelling. If you close your eyes, can you take yourself back to that? Can you feel that? Well, when I was in the time, it wasn't so emotional. It was action, it was adrenaline, it was intensity. Um, but once I'm out of that experience and I relive it through my story and through my motivational sharing, I always cry. Every speech, I haven't made it through one single speech and I've given over 50. Well, and something that's very dear yes. to you. <laughs> yes. That's natural. It's very 
that's very true. Yes, I've been traveling. I've been yes, everywhere. I've heard. <laughs> that must be very, very hectic for you. It is. Um, it's been quite a whirlwind. No kidding, right? I've been everywhere from Shanghai to Bilbao in Spain. Oh, wow. To, I mean, just about almost every place I can think of, I've almost been, except for Sydney. I need to get out there. Okay, <laughs> that's the next thing. But have you slept for more than one night in the same place? Um, sometimes, I think. I'm thinking Olympic Games and preparation for that must have also been very challenging and yeah. taken a lot of time and you know energy out of you so you're probably very used to this kind yes. of stress level so. <laughs> i am you know um the olympic games is definitely something that you have to prepare for mentally mm -hmm. and you do go through a lot it, we even travel a lot so we travel from city to city country to country competing mm -hmm. um to get prepared for the olympic games how like you you must train now with your crazy traveling schedule like yeah. when do you have time to go to the gym well you just kind of squeeze it in when you can I mean your hotel room is a great place to do some stuff if you get out the bed and turn off the TV and get out you yeah can do, I can show you a few things are you interested in maybe learning yeah today? for sure I'd love to know some things okay yeah I, give me I, don't, I don't want to give but me I can... these thank you lady <laughs> thank you okay let me change All right. I'll be back in a few seconds okay sure right Same. Looking good. Oh, this I like this outfit. Thank you. I'm gonna show you a few things mm -hmm. that you can easily do while you're on the road or in your hotel room. No big deal. Okay, so first let's start off something simple. Just do an easy squat. So first one, squats. Very simple. You can do them standing. Basically, you put your arms in the air. This increases the challenge. Want this nice and tight? Yeah. There we go. Good job. <laughs> All right. You're gonna be here. You're gonna just sit, and you're gonna stand up, and you're gonna sit. You gotta stand up. Yeah, that's great. Nice. More challenging, okay? This time you gotta do one leg. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. You gotta sit back. Come on and stand back up. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna help you on this one. Sit back. There we go. <laughs> Can I stay here? <laughs> now, because you're just practicing this for the first time, you can use the bed next time. It's okay. a little higher. Gives you a little less depth to go mm -hmm. back. But again, increase the challenge, you know? So after you get this one, you're good. After you get that one, you're good. And next time say, hey, I'm gonna keep it going. Now this one, we'll just do some push-ups, okay? Actually, we'll call these elevated push-ups, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, just do a regular push-up. Push down, push-up, push down, push-up. Good job. How do we increase it? Uh, Make it a little more challenging? You bring your hands in. Bring them in tight. Make a little yeah, tighter. tighter. Okay. Yeah! Then you push down. Uh -huh. Yeah! <laughs> That's a whole new feeling! I've never been trained by an Olympic champion before! That's okay, welcome to my world, okay? You want to increase this push-up? We're going to do a trotter push-up, okay? We're going to reverse this thing. You put your feet up on the chair. Same thing. Okay. Push up. Push up. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Keep it up. You can do it. I got you. One more. One Whoa. more. Good oh, job! Yeah! You did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! You have plenty of space usually on the ground. Mm -hmm. At most hotel rooms, you can just spread right on out, at least you by yourself, okay? Uh -huh. Don't invite your friends over because you won't have room <laughs> for all of that. So, one of the things you can do, very easy, work on your abs, man. You eat all those things on the road. You eat french fries, candy, airport food. You gotta put your legs right in the air. You gotta put your arms straight up. You gotta reach up, touch your toes. And come back down. Touch your toes. Come back down. Touch your toes. And come back down. Okay. There you go. It's called a reach up. Okay. So this one is called a bicycle. It's lots of fun. You're just gonna put your elbows. I mean, you're gonna put your knees up, and you're gonna just uh, change directions of one uh -huh. of your leg. You're just gonna switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Bicycle. It's pretty awesome. Oh, go Russian over. twist is one of my favorite. You cross your feet here. Russian twist. Yes, the Russian twist. You're going to put one hand here. You're going to switch sides, touch the other side, switch sides, touch the other side, and go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now for added, added intensity for this workout, I want you to hold this book back. Here you go, pal. Yeah, there you go. Now hold it like this, more like on your I chest. I hope you liked me. I do, you're my friend. I'm gonna use this pillow because I've been in shape for a long time, okay? You don't wanna switch? <laughs> Maybe I use the pillow if you use the backpack. Now last app, okay? One of my favorites for sure. 
It's actually more of a core exercise, but it's the plank hold. Uh huh. All right. The plank. Hold it. Hold it. On. Does it look good? It looks good. Okay. <laughs> really, just like I travel with one of these. So oh. it's like a little flexi band. It's super light. You don't even, I mean, and there's so many different variations. If just something that creates resistance, easy thing to keep in your back. If, yes, there you go. Work these little arms. There we go. So you get them nice and tight. There you go. Then you pull it to the back. Same thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm a little stronger You're than I look. Strong. <laughs> Thank <Darling>. you. <laughs> you did awesome. I didn't break you, did I? Almost not. Oh. <laughs> You are the honorary Olympian for the day. Not only do you get to wear one, oh. you get to wear two. Oh, awesome. what the heck? You might as well just try on all three. It's not every day you get to train with Trotter. No, they just look great on you. Guys, I have a question for you now. When you travel, do you work out, exercise? What do you do or you just sit on the couch all day? If you do train, comment below how and what it is that you do and the winner with the best comment is gonna get this awesome prize. Just so you guys feel even more inspired. Autographed by Didi Trotter. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This was really, really awesome. I really enjoyed it. Wow, this was a great workout. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well and that you're going to take some of these exercises and try them at home or when traveling. And this was actually our last episode before we take a break from on the go with EF for the summer. And we're going to use this time to plan some more new exciting travels and also to take a vacation. But do come back in September and join us again. I really hope to see all of you. Bye! Thank you.